Hey friends, my name is George Gianaris. I'm a chef for 36 years, and if you're here, it's because you like to eat healthy, save money, and cook like a pro, and I'm here with another pro. This is Jessica Kelleher. I met her at a lecture, and we became kindred spirits instantly because she has the same vision about food that I do. And today, we're gonna be making some of her absolutely delicious, power, I like to call them power balls. What do you call them? Energy balls. Energy balls, power balls, whatever you wanna call them. It's something you should definitely add to your menu because they're like little morsels of perfect food. I got started basically, it goes way back into my childhood, but it really sunk in when I had kids and they were having some health issues and the doctors were like, we're gonna give them all these medications. And I ended up feeling like that wasn't right. Something was wrong there. I met with an acupuncturist and she suggested changing up their diets and I remember crying in the grocery store. And uh, we changed some things up and their health changed completely. Huge difference. I couldn't even believe it. I couldn't believe the change that I was seeing in their health, in their behavior, in their sleep, everything. And then it started to mean that I needed to change my diet. I had some issues of my own. I changed my diet. I started dropping gluten. I started dropping dairy. I changed up the amount of sugar I was having. And I really started getting into cooking and finding creative ways to make what people would think are boring, healthy foods into really awesome, indulgent, delicious foods. Basically, one thing led to another. Years and years passed. I'm living this really super healthy lifestyle, loving it. I'm seeing great results. And I'm feeding my friends. So every time they come over, they're getting all this food for me. They're loving it. They can't believe they're eating this healthy and it tastes this good. It was just two of them. And then the next week there was two more and they told two more and so on and so on and so on. And here I am today cooking for a whole bunch of people. You gave me the recipes so I can buy all the ingredients and I was checking everything out online. And when I broke down the ratios, which I'm gonna list here, this is like the perfect meal. That's awesome, they're it's, delicious, so. I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor today. You're gonna do two of your recipes okay. and I'm gonna try to make one that's pure keto. Like, right. so we'll see if, how it comes out. I mean, if it sucks, you could just say, George, that was horrible. That was a terrible idea. Basically, we wasted everybody's time. What's your favorite? The peanut butter ones. Okay, yep. cool. So let's start with the peanut butter one first. And this is really easy, right? Yeah, it's so simple. Okay, great. So, so we start with just a cup of peanut butter. And we use, you use organic products too, right? I always use organic yeah, products. Yeah, me so. too. That's like the binder, right? Yeah, so this is the glue that holds it all together. Okay, right? well, I'll wash that. So a cup of oats. I like to use the gluten-free oats. Actually, these are great. These ones. The yeah, and they're, they're sprouted too yeah. and gluten free. Now, if you get peanut butter on your shirt like that, is that a, that's a cool thing. That's part of the deal. <laughs> All, right. All right, and then about a half a cup of flaxseed. Okay, now that's that, that's flaxseed meal and that's okay? Yeah, so the ground okay. flaxseed's the way to go. I don't even think we can digest whole flaxseed, so. Interesting, okay. Yeah. The coconut, about a third a cup should be good. Okay. I really like coconut, so sometimes I add extra, but yeah. that's the nice thing. You can add as much of the thing you like or take it out. You don't like it. Last week, I, I, I don't know if you saw my episode, but I made coconut kefir. kefir. I did see that one. Yeah. All right, and then about, I don't know, a quarter cup of chia seeds is good. Mm -hmm. They're super high in fiber. I believe there's a good amount of protein. That, I mean, the best part about the chia seeds in the Power Balls is that they add a texture of crunch. Cool. So they're super nutritious, but that's my favorite part about them, and that's actually why they're in here. And then chocolate. I mean, if it was up to me, the entire thing would be made out of chocolate. But do you have a scissor for that? I do. And we'll just say about a half a cup of chocolate chips. Okay. I mean, if you wanted to put like the whole bag in, that's fine. <laughs> well, at some point it would be just too much for yeah, the peanut butter to hold together, right? Maybe, yes, exactly. Okay. So that's the trick here is if you put too much of the dry ingredients, the glue won't hold it together. Got so it. you just mix it around. So this peanut butter was a little warm. So you could put this in the fridge mm -hmm. to let it solidify a little bit. So once you once you mix everything together, pop in the fridge for maybe 20 minutes yeah. or so. You could even put it in the freezer if you're limited on time. Mm -hmm. You know what we could use is a little bowl of like warm water that I could stick my hands in. Okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And again, you could add anything to this. So I've added cinnamon before. Oh, we forgot about the honey. Let's say about two tablespoons of honey maybe. Could you use like agave or could you yeah, use? Yeah, you could use whatever sweetener you're comfortable with. You don't even really need them because of the chocolate chips, I feel mm -hmm. like. Sweeter. That, and that's raw, organic raw honey, which yeah. is, yeah. But, and I feel like in this recipe, I really prefer the honey to the um, maple syrup just because, I don't know, I feel like it binds it together a little better. Right. All right, so it's pretty mixed up at this point. Okay, so we'll pop that one in the fridge and while it's cooling, we'll make our second one. Yeah. I can tell you something right now, my wife loves Almond Joy, and so I'm really excited about these Almond Joy bites you're about to make. Oh, these are awesome. Okay, I think cool. these are probably like the biggest hit of cool. the things they make. Just start with some almond flour. Really want to go with that, uh, the fine blanched almond flour in my opinion, but okay. it's not a requirement. Will that work? 
Yeah, this is perfect. Cool. All right, so it's two thirds cup of that. You don't have to really be super precise about your measurements. Two thirds cup of the coconut. I mean, how rare is it that you're gonna get something this delicious that's totally healthy for you? Some, once in a while, like, you know, especially like Halloween or something like that, you, you will eat, you know, the Snickers bars. It's it's disgusting to oh me. Oh my god, it's it, so sweet, yeah. It just tastes so artificial. Like, when like... you get used to this, there's so much dimension, you know? Well, and these are really great to, like, get a full snack in if you really need it to mm -hmm. keep yourself going, but they're also just, they, they get that sweet tooth. All right, and then about a half a cup of almond butter. So again, if you store these upside down, it's another one of those tips. Oh, cool. Now, when you store them upside down, I mean, have you ever been in a situation where the, uh, <laughs> It leaks all over the cabinet? <laughs> no, but right, you have okay. to tighten your jar. Okay, good. All right. That was what? Measured half what? A cup. Half a cup? Yep. A little, uh, a fat half cup. Okay, half cool. Yeah. Yep. And then we have these sliced almonds here. Heaping quarter cup, we'll call it. And then maple syrup. We'll just do about a tablespoon. You could add more or mm -hmm. take it out completely if you don't want it. I'm never going to be able to get that open. Oh, sure. Like I will. Right. <laughs> just you got to stick a knife in it. I think I could do this. I know I could do this. I know I could do this. I can't do this. I've never seen anyone do that. Yeah, it's a, it's impossible. There you go. Oh, so about about a tablespoon, a little vanilla, chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. So about a quarter cup of chocolate chips. But again, okay. you need to put a little more in. Totally fine. Mix, mix, mix. Refrigerate, always, refrigerate. I actually, for some reason, don't need to refrigerate as much. I, I'm not sure why. It smells unbelievable. Doesn't that vanilla it? just came right through. I got it. Oh yeah. man, that's great. I mean, this is not a terribly expensive thing to make. No, no. And no, no. Uh, you know, so that's kind of cool. And you, you know, you buy one bag of these, and it's going to last you a long time. Yeah, I make my own gluten-free, vegan, carb-free crackers, and uh, what are they made of? Oh, I, I have a recipe I'll show you. It's, it's online. It's really cool. Pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and sesame seeds. Oh, that's awesome. And I bind it with psyllium husk. Oh, it's really that's good. That's the key, and that's yeah. so good for you. It is. It saved really my good. life. I had a whole bunch of cheese yesterday. We went to the wineries. <laughs> the Thank God husk. the psyllium husk was there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we're pretty mixed up here. And then that's it. They're done. So you can eat them right now. All right. I'm going to eat the baby. All right. Go for it. Good try. Mm. So it's good. so good. You know what I love about this? It's not mushy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's got so much character and texture. Mm. It's delicious. It's Would spectacular. you add more sweetener? I don't, I'm not a sweet guy. Yeah. I mean, I drink my coffee black. It was absolutely perfect for me. But you awesome. could, right? Mm -hmm. One option is um, monk fruit sweetener, right? Like, I know a lot of people, this doesn't really, they, it messes them up. The erythrol is something mm -hmm. that um, their body's not used to. But it's so, so low carb right. that you can use that. Give it a little, you know, maybe even use um, Truvia. I think Truvia is okay. I think it's erythrol and Stevia. But just a little sprinkle in there mm -hmm. just to give it, you know, if you like that sweetness. With the powder? Yeah, it's like a one-to-one -one sugar replacement. I find that it doesn't really agree with me 100%, but I've gotten used to it. So now... You try to do keto? Mm-hmm. Cool. So these are Lily's dark chocolate chips. So just to give you an idea, carbs on these is 10 grams. And these, it's eight grams, but the total sugars is zero. Oh, that's so awesome. all the all the all the carbs are coming from fiber. Yeah. These are stevia. So let's try it with that. And hopefully it'll be good. These are a favorite of mine, so you can't go wrong with these. Yeah, I I make a um a fat bomb with that. I have a recipe for that fat online bomb? too. Yeah, it's like, you know when you're on a keto diet and you want to up your fat intake? So I use those. What do you want to use of these ingredients? I want to try making it with hemp hearts. Awesome. So maybe we can do hemp hearts, we can do some coconut, some almonds, um, and use the almond butter. We could use both. I think really big thing is that you can switch this out for any nut-free butter too, because that's a big thing, obviously. What would be a nut-free butter? Sunflower seed butter. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's. Can we do the almond? Yeah. Because yeah, I don't good. do. Because uh, a lot of people don't do peanuts. Peanuts. That's right. So this could kind of work. Okay. Cup of that. Almond butter, organic. Costco. Love Costco. You would go with a half a cup of the stevia chips in that. Let's do like a third a cup. Okay. Let's say. Yeah, it's like a half a cup. 
<laughs> do you do almond flour or would you do almonds? Um, I might, do, let's do the almond flour. So let's do like a half a cup of the almond flour. Okay, so this is a third. And I'm just gonna go a little heavier with it. The recipe for this is on my, you know, you by my website. I have everything on PDF, so. You wanted to add the hemp seeds? Yeah, definitely wanna add the hemp seeds. So let's do a third. All right. I wanna do coconut. Okay. So a third? Yeah. Do you wanna add sweetener or you wanna leave it without and see how it is? I'm gonna leave it out. We could always add it. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you can't take it out. Vanilla? Yeah, let's yeah. do vanilla. I'm just gonna put like a teaspoon. So that's the best part about these, is you can really just make it up as you go. Let me tweak it. Teaspoon's good. Is that it? I think so. All right, let's I mix mean, these, it up. This is your recipe. This is my recipe. <laughs> well, well, I'm under your tutelage, of course. <laughs> let's see how this binds. This may need some refrigeration, possibly. And you could roll it in coconut flour. I mean, coconut. Oh, actually, you know what? I do do that with the almond joy bites. Is I roll them in coconut at the end. Okay, cool. You could also do cocoa powder. Cool. How's that look to you? That looks great. You could even add a little more of something if you wanted, like. Let's do the almonds. Like almond of a third of sliced almonds, there we go. This is a super keto kind of a thing here. Easy to grab and go. Perfect. Easy to grab and go. Just gonna taste it, see for sweetness. So it definitely needs to be sweeter. All right, so. It's like there's no sweetness well, at all. Well, we didn't put any sweetness in there. Nope, gauging this, I'm gonna say. It's a really fine powder. It's like sugar. Okay. Yeah, it's really close to sugar. I'm gonna probably go with a tablespoon of this. Okay. So I'm just gonna eyeball it, but. Okay, I'll try it. Mm-hmm. Probably go a little bit more. Do you feel like that is less sweet? You need to add more? Than sugar? Well, then like maple syrup or honey, like less condensed. Well, I mean, I'm, honestly, I would probably add honey or maple syrup to this, but I'm trying to go for the keto, keto crowd, right. right? All right, now let's see that. I mean, it's satisfying to me. Great. So two tablespoons did it, cool. All right, let's roll these out. Jess, I can't thank you enough for being on my show. I, I, guys, please subscribe to her Instagram channel and egg her on to get her own YouTube channel because she could really do a good job with it. These are absolutely delicious and easy to make and the recipes on my website, a lot of stuff is on your Instagram channel so please make sure you uh, subscribe to that. If you have any questions or if you make your own ones like these that you'd like, please share them with me down below and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. Thank you, this was awesome. Honor was all mine, see you again soon.